Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, New Life Church, Albany, Georgia. I hope you're having a great day in Jesus. We're looking tonight at the other Bible. You know, you have like the Forgotten Books of Eden and the Apocrypha and the Dead Sea Scrolls. Um, I do appreciate them putting this in one book. You have like the Gnostic Bible by Elaine Pagels and findings from the trash to Nag Hammadi and all this. So this has ancient alternative scriptures, Gnostic Gospels, Dead Sea Scrolls, Visionary Wisdom Texts, Christian Apocrypha, and Jewish Pseudepigrapha and Kabbalah in one volume. Creation myth. See, and so stuff like this, I love to be acquainted with it. And you can get this, like if you've got a cross-cultural study Bible or a uh, Zondervan archaeological study Bible, it's going to have a lot of this kind of stuff. Because it seems like every few weeks, somebody's going to come out with, we just found the Gospel of Judas or the Gospel of John the Baptist or something. And they're going to be trying to attack Scripture from that way. And you wouldn't believe the number of comments we get on this channel. Well, what do you do with all the uh, scriptures that they left out of the Bible and the, the Catholic Church? None of that happened. The Bible was being circulated in the first century. I've done many videos on that. The New Testament evidence is clear. Paul, you know, Peter's reading Paul's writings. Paul's reading Luke's writings. It was just being circulated. The Gospels are referring, you know, Matthew, Mark, and Luke are referring to John 2, 19 through 21, destroy this temple in three days, I'll raise it up. So it was assumed, I mean, Luke 1, 1 through 4, which all the implications there. So you can just kind of see, I mean, this has a lot in there. I remember when I was a new Christian, you, you start reading, Jesus making clay pigeons when he's eight years old and turning them into real pigeons or the disciples asking Jesus he's kissing Mary Magdalene and the disciples are like, why don't you kiss us like you kiss her and, I mean just weird stuff Plotinus the Enneads I mean look at this mystical documents the divine throne chariot the Zahar Kabbalah I mean, just incredible stuff. Pseudo Dionysius, Manny, and Manichaeism. That's important because Augustine came from Manichaeism, and a lot of people think he never really left, even though here's Augustine's letter against the Manichaeans. From other letters of Augustine on the Manichaeisms, uh, Euodius against the Manichaeans, Cephalia the teacher. But, you know, reading like Augustine and um, the City of God and his other work I can't think of right now. One of them is kind of like his, his testimony and he talked about the Manichaeans around and all this. The Odes of Solomon, Jewish pseudepigrapha. So it's a huge book. It's 700, uh, almost 50 pages. And the bibliography, you always get a lot of good stuff out of the bibliography. So this is something, I mean, it's good to have. Um, it, it, you know, I've got a ministry, you know, I believe miracle signs, wonders, I preach New Testament doctrine, but this is all part of my ministry. It may not be part of your ministry. We all have different callings, according to Romans 12 and uh, 1 Corinthians 12, so Ephesians 4. So this is, again, just part of my ministry to be acquainted with things like this and know how to combat it. The acts of Pilate. When I say combat it, I'm talking about in a Christian sense. Just winnowing it with Scripture and knowing Scripture is always true 100%. So the other Bible, interesting. God bless for the first time in one volume. Talk with you later in Jesus' name.